Davis. On stage as a musician and a member of a musical group, I take it upon myself to create harmony between the different musical instruments with which I must blend. My music has enabled me to meet and work with some of the most famous people in America's music history. Off stage as a member of society, I have taken it upon myself to create harmony between the different people with whom I must live. Wanting to learn more about the world and its inhabitants, I have traveled to over 50 different countries on five continents. But perhaps the strangest journey I've taken was a quest to learn more about some of my fellow human beings. That journey was taken right here in my own country, the United States of America, where I've met some of the most infamous people as well as terrorists in the history of this country as seen documented here by CNN. This is CNN. Friendship can transcend all kinds of boundaries. Just look at us. And two men in Washington area are showing that even an African-American man and a member of the Ku Klux Klan can find common ground. CNN's Carl Rochelle reports. Gerald Davis plays a hot piano. It's part of the show, and it makes him stand out. He also stands out here. Davis is one of the few African-Americans you will ever find attending a KKK rally. More than attending, he is welcome. As an author, I have written the book Clandestine Relationships, a non-fiction book about my face-to-face -face meetings and encounters with members of the largest, most feared, racist, and hateful gang this country has ever known. Mine is the first book ever written by a black author on the Ku Klux Klan from the perspective of sitting down and talking with these sworn enemies of my race and humanity in general. As a lecturer, I speak to colleges, universities, police departments, religious groups, civic organizations, and corporate diversity seminars all over the country, recounting my experiences and sharing my personal anecdotes. You see, I was still naive. And I said to the guy, I said, well, why is that? He didn't answer me. He looked down the table and didn't say anything. And his buddy said, tell him, tell him. I said, tell me. He looked up one side of his pocket, and he said, I'm a member of the Ku Klux Klan. And I started laughing. I didn't believe the guy. Why would a Klansman get up from his table, walk over to me, put his arm around my shoulder, tell me that he enjoyed my piano playing and wanted to buy me a drink? It made no sense to me from what I knew about members of the Ku Klux Klan. As I said, I read all these books. Okay? But he went through his wallet and handed me his Klan card. I stopped laughing. It was for real. I did not fit the stereotype of what, he, of what he was told black people were. I would invite him over to my house. He would meet my other black friends, my white friends, my Jewish friends, my Asian friends, my Hispanic friends. He'd get a chance to talk to them, okay? Eventually, he began inviting me over to his house. Then he began inviting me to Klan rallies. And then he warned me. He said, Daryl, do not go to Roger Kelly's house. He will kill you. He says, if you want to see the Klan, best thing for you to do. My lectures offer my own personal and proven solutions to eradicating racism. I teach and empower others to confront their fears and conquer their own prejudices. I am living proof that friends can be made out of sworn enemies. I got more respect for that black man than I do you white niggers All out right. there. because I believe in what he stands for and he believes in what I stand for. A lot of times we don't agree with everything, but at least he respects me to sit down and listen to me. And I respect him to sit down and listen to him. What would cause a Klansman to say that? Even more important, what did I say that caused that same Klan leader to leave the Ku Klux Klan and give me the very robe and hood that you saw him wearing in that video clip? To book me and to learn more about my methods that have caused some of the most violent, racist, hateful, and feared people to renounce their beliefs and turn their robes, hoods, and other symbols of hate over to me, a black musician. Please contact Lyrad Productions at 1-301-933-8208. Visit us at www.daryldavis.com. Thank you. The strange relationship of a KKK wizard and his black buddy. 
In Washington, I'm Carl Rochelle, CNN Sunday Morning.